Hello everyone. Welcome back to our family worship experience. I'm so glad you're here this morning and you have made it to our final edition of our Bake Off Challenge. All this month we've been learning about how we can be more patient. And you know what? Baking takes a lot of patience and life also requires a lot of patience too. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. Today is actually a really special day in the life of the church. The Sunday before Easter is always the day that we celebrate as Palm Sunday. And on Palm Sunday, we remember and we celebrate Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Now we're going to hear a lot more about that story later. But first, let's stand and do some praise and worship together. to wait for all the things that I want. Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long to get the things I want, what I think you need, but I know you know what's best for me. I'm gonna live what I believe. I'm gonna wait cause I know you're still working. I'm gonna have patience cause it'll be worth it. I'm gonna have faith, I know you have a you're working it out i'm gonna hold up slow down i'm gonna trust that you're working it out Turn the crank for a tasty treat. Oh. 
where's my tasty treat? Here you go. <sighs> Is this unbaked bread? Bake on 350 for 40 minutes. This is my tasty treat. Patience, Brandon. Patience. Everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. John, what is going on? Well, Easter is next week. Pretty big day. I'll say. And I cannot wait to celebrate it. Oh, really? Yeah, just look at this chocolate bunny. He's just begging me to eat him. <laughs> I'm so chocolatey and delicious. Have just a nibble, please. Hey, I guess we could celebrate a week early. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Happy Easter! Mm. No, I'm good. I know. Mm. Mm, great! Who knew you didn't have to wait to celebrate Easter? Yeah. I, I mean, who says we can't celebrate other holidays early, too? Let's do it now! Yeah! Happy Arbor Day! Hey, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. Hey, can you put Dad on the phone? Hey, Dad, happy Father's Day. <laughs> you're welcome. Happy Canada Day, eh? Hey, bro. Happy Brother's Day. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Independence Day. <laughs> hey, Jeff, happy Second Cousin Removed Day. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Bastille Day. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, Sparky! Who's a good dog? Happy Dog's Day! <laughs> You're welcome. Can I get another hot dog? Sure, buddy. Happy, Happy Labor, Labor Day! Day. Trigger! Merry Christmas. Oh, you shouldn't have! <laughs> Are you sure this is how you celebrate Boxing Day? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one, happy 2022! <laughs> oh man, six more weeks of winter. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah. Oh, one more thing to celebrate. What's that? It's Bible story time with Kellen! Yes! Hey guys, whoa! You guys all right? Yeah, yeah, we just uh, celebrated a year's worth of holidays in three minutes. <laughs> that sounds exhausting. Yeah. I guess it kind of was. So I guess you've already done Palm Sunday then. Wait, that's today! How could we forget? Ah. Um, well, how about this? How about you celebrate by helping me tell the Bible story? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, here's a little puppet head theater. Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Jesus told two of his disciples, go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you'll find a donkey tied there along with her colt. Uh -huh. Untie them and bring them to me. <gasps> if anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh. You see, hundreds of years earlier, one of God's prophets, Zechariah, said the Messiah would come to Jerusalem riding on a donkey. That prophecy was about to come true. When the disciples went to Jerusalem, they found the donkey just like Jesus said. Oh, here it is. Uh, perfect. Come on, little guy. I'll just get you here. All right. Hey! Uh, what are you doing with my donkey? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just uh, 
Oh, what was I supposed to say? Uh, right. The Lord needs him. The Lord? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? <laughs> I just did. Well, please, by all means, take him away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Come on, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, and thank you. No problem. Uh, okay, whoa. Slow, slow down. Whoa, here we go. So they took the donkey back to Jesus and placed their cloaks on the donkey for Jesus to sit on. Here you go. And here's one. <sighs> Nathaniel, you got your cloak? And one more. <laughs> Jesus got on the donkey and headed to Jerusalem. When word spread that Jesus was coming, a crowd gathered and spread their cloaks all on the ground, while others cut palm tree branches and spread them on the road. My cloak for ye, sir. Hosanna! It's the Messiah. He's coming. Hosanna! He's getting closer. Here he comes. Jesus rode into Jerusalem, and he was greeted with cheers and shouts of hope and wonder. They wondered, could this be the Messiah that they had been promised all those years ago? Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Yes. The entire city was amazed at what was happening. Now, they weren't 100% sure that Jesus was the one that they'd been waiting for, but they still celebrated. It's Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth. The end. That's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Everyone was waiting for a savior. They think they have one. So they celebrate. Even though he's on the back of a donkey, they treat him as a king. Yeah, pretty incredible. But over the course of the week leading up to what we call Easter, there would be a lot of pain. Jesus, the man they thought was their king, would be arrested and sentenced to death. It was a roller coaster of emotion. So what happened after that? Well, I think a lot of us know what happened after that. And while we can still celebrate the hope the Easter story gives us today and every day, you'll have to wait to hear the rest of the story next week. Fair enough. Hey, thanks, Kellen. No, yep. Thank you, guys. Later. See ya. Great story. I know. The people had been waiting so long for a savior, they must have been thrilled. I know, yeah. And, and they still didn't know exactly who Jesus True. was. They didn't know the crazy, turn-your-world-upside-down miracle that was about to happen. So they still had to wait and wonder. Just like us sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, check this out. Reveal the question. Oh. What are you waiting for right now? John? Lunch. <laughs> After the show, buddy. Oh, right. But what else? Are you waiting for news about a test, uh, about whether or not your parents are going to have to move for work? Maybe you're waiting for God to answer a prayer. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? Those are really thoughtful. Thanks. Thanks. Waiting for lunch is good. Too. Yeah, lunch is good. Just know that whatever you're waiting for, you don't have to wait to celebrate all the good stuff. That's right, right. You can celebrate all the holidays in one day. Let's do it. Oh, wait, we've already done the whole year. We haven't done next year. It's true. Talk about it with each other. What are you waiting for right now? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. To the future. Yeah. When did this tradition start? Oh. Uh, this starts in 2036. Oh, that's right. Apparently, they hadn't invented tweezers. So close. <laughs> I threw two and they both missed. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. that the religious leaders let Jesus literally walk right by them without celebrating him. They couldn't see what God was doing right among them. And because of that, they missed out on this huge party. They didn't believe that Jesus was the one that God had sent as the Savior. 
And you know, sometimes we can miss out on what God is doing right in our lives right now, because sometimes we, we focus way too much on what we wish would happen or wanting something else to happen. So today I want you to remember, you can celebrate even when you're waiting. None of us like to wait and none of us like to go through tough things in our life, but God can help us grow stronger in our faith when we choose to trust God through those tough times. Even if things around you aren't going exactly the way you planned, you can make a decision to still trust God and you can remember all of the many ways that God has been with you in the past. You can still celebrate even while you're waiting for things to change. You can always remember that God is with you no matter what. God is with you through the tough times. God is with you when you're worried. And God is with you when things just aren't turning out the way that you plan for them to. God never leaves us. God is always with us. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, this wonderful Holy Week. Stay tuned for more things coming your way. I hope you'll join us tonight at the church, too, for our Holy Week experience. And I will see you all next week. Bye.